just got a pool that we have been filling up lately. The last like three days has been over almost over 80 degrees and now it's cold but it's still like real windy. But seriously, as soon as I knew as soon as we started putting water in the pool, we would start it. But I mean it is just spring, summer isn't here yet, but we wanted to get a head start and everything on it. And she's been wanting to pull. So we got a pool. We want to get an in-ground warehouse, but this will work for now. One of my things is for this truck, the uh, the bumper is bent here, right there, and I think that's where it's actually just bent. The actual, I guess you call it the visor or something, it's in good shape. Might be scratched a little bit, but I found this piece right here for, I think it's about $130 shipped, which ain't bad. So I think I'm going to get it. It's going to be black and it's going to be a chrome because literally the only chrome is that that and the rear bumper but i want it all chrome deleted because the truck's basically when i get a paint it's going to be gray and black but we got completely smoked out headlights coming in of course with hid and in the back we've got a new uh well we have old tail lights but i think i'm just going to basically just go ahead and smoke them out and we'll get the windows 10 and everything but i think i'm going to get that bumper because you know this needs paint anyways but that's not harmed it's just the bumpers twisted and i might get the mounts because the mounts might be broke but other than that i think it's good so we could probably just save the top visor and i think the bottom's good too i don't even know if we're gonna put that on there or not but we're gonna do that so when those come in we'll definitely be installing that but say like if i was going to get this i might go ahead and order i didn't want to put the new headlights in until i had this that way we wouldn't scratch them or anything but let's go pick up an intake a moment when you ugh. Oh, so, oh, that's nasty. I got the doo doo water coming. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, I've got to wash my truck out, as you see. We parked it here, and I was like, oh, I'll wash it. And then, like, the next night, it just rained like crazy and didn't wash it out. It just made it nasty. So we got the old parts here. Let's go ahead and slide these bad boys open. This should be the light, which it is. I actually have these same exact lights for the Super Ram, which is parked over in front of my other garage. Um, these are the lights we're going to be using. Actually, I think we actually have some for this truck too, the first gen. But those will be the lights we're going to be using. I have new lights coming in uh, to get rid of these old crappy lights. All right. And go ahead and get this open. This should be the intake. Oh, yeah. Couplings. Should be the filter. What's a big old sucker? So much the big exhaust pipe. I think the exhaust pipe on the truck is four or five inch, I'm thinking. So it's pretty good size. But we're gonna put that on. Also, if you see Colossus has a little hole back there in the door, the rust spot. Don't be alarmed. I actually took the door off a of Super Ram put on there because I was gonna get Super Ram Road Legal before we bought. Hey Durango, because I was just going to drive that. She could drive the Cummins or vice versa. But I've got to switch it back. I've got to find me some doors for the Super Ram. Um, 
it's just it's so hard to find them right here because everybody's looking for them for those trucks so hopefully i can find a deal here soon um i'm gonna go ahead and get everything out and uh we get started it's blowing really the wind's blowing real bad so i'm gonna probably pull it in here that way we don't have to deal with all the camera the wind noise for the camera take this off uh, actually I think we can just unhook it we want to take this out because the new one has it so it goes on there so that should come out like so that's gonna come off I want to get a screwdriver for that which I have It's got a little clip right there. All right, should be good. And we'll pull this off. Now, last time I got oil changed, they said I needed a filter, but I think that was probably like a month or two ago. And it's it's cheaper to get actually oil change. I let my cousin do it. But anyways, they said I needed a filter, but I knew I was going to put an aftermarket one on, so I was like, Nah, I'm good. So let's go ahead. Halfway up. Yeah. Ah. Perfect. They said I need a filter, which it is pretty dirty. But like I said, I knew I was getting one, it was gonna be soon. I don't drive the truck too much anyway, so. Here's that. We gotta take this box out because we have another piece over there in the back that basically puts the uh, filter here. And when we take this off, we're gonna take the turbo silencer ring out. So hopefully we hear a little bit more of a little America coming out over. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull all this off. All right, so that's got like two little nub nubs. You got a bolt right there. So I'm gonna put everything back stock. I mean, I'm gonna put everything together back. So we do have like the old intake box and stuff. Cause like, you never know. Put all this, but I had to make my jammers in there. I'm just gonna slide this on in there. Like that. Lock and load. I don't even think we need that, to be honest with that. All right. Well, we're gonna have to remove this from down there. And I think, cause all we have, I think all of it bolts up from the turbo up. I think that's how it is. So I'll double check and everything, but our main box will go here. Should utilize these stock brackets and everything like that. It's gonna look a little, a little better should perform a little better too and then i also have a high rise like the elbow intake over there i have that coming in and um i think it's all like motor wise for now but we are going to get a since everybody's like been getting off me oh it needs a real coal it needs a real coal kind of do once real coal um i'm actually looking into getting a you know a tuner for it and everything no, I don't want like extreme tunes that would blow up the transmission later on. I like to get a built transmission. But right now, I just want so we just have a little more extra power. So 
Let's go ahead and find out what we need to do here. And boy, this wind is awful today. Goodness. down to that so because we got more pieces than that we'll have to put everything together and see but we got my majority out of it and then we can take the uh, little uh turbo silencer out of it too well what's a little guy down there look at that little guy eventually i think we need two little guy like one big guy one small guy eventually we'll do a second gen and have the uh manifold or uh manifold and have it up higher i think they look pretty good all right, so got the ring off, got the silencer off. This absolutely does nothing. I was reading online just to see. It said it doesn't increase any boost or, or you know, does anything with like the EGTs and exhaust or anything like that. Basically, it's just for getting to hear your turbo. And you know what? I'm good with just getting to hear my turbo. <laughs> so with this going, and I always heard that if you put take this out and you put your stock, uh, stock intake box back in it's kind of pointless because it is kind of enclosed so hopefully since we've got you know the cold air intake system going in hopefully we can hear it so we'll definitely have to take that through as soon as we get put on so this is going into toolbox and we're on to our next step all right so we got to put our coupling and everything on our new coupling we'll make sure they're good to loosen up some more. All right. Want to make sure we can get to the bolts easy. <laughs> I think we're on there, so we're gonna go ahead and tighten this bad boy up. Just wanna double check all the way around. Yeah, we're good. So we'll tighten that up, and then we just basically have to kind of piece their pipes together. Before I put the main one in, I'm gonna go ahead and put the box in and get it bolted down and everything. I don't think it actually has the actual push down. But we have bolts, I'm thinking that's what we have to bolt it to. And then it will come in at an angle here. So that's how we're going to do it. I think it'll look a lot better like that. Look nice and clean. So move the lights. Okay, what's going to happen is take this bolt out. That goes on there. We have the bolt to go down here and right here. Hooks up to the fan shroud. Um, we got to take that bolt out and put that right there. So basically it kind of goes like that. We're not going to utilize the this bolt right here or the second bracket. So I think that'd be pretty good. And then we got like little mesh to go around. Now on the Super Ram, I put like a Superman symbol. If we have room, I'm probably going to cut like a little like eagle, a blue eagle symbol or something, or maybe silver. I don't know yet. And put like right here just because, um, you know, or maybe have Brutus or something because that's what the trucks call it. So we, we got to rep it somewhere. We got to rep some America somewhere. But I'm going to go ahead and get this in, and that way we can position a pipe, and I can go ahead and tighten everything up, and we'll get all the clamps good. The clamps. It's actually been a pretty easy install. Um, just which, you know, the instructions were a little bit better, but it wasn't. So we just we just put it together by puzzle pieces. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get that. Adjust everything, make sure everything fits. And all right, now down here on this rubber piece, we actually have a rubber piece to go down there on that. That way, 
it won't uh, make any noise or anything like that. So I think this should be good right here. I'm tightening now, we're good, but kind of just going to snug everything. So we got that right there, and we got a bolt and everything to go there. So once we put this on, I think uh, I think we'll be okay. I went and made sure nothing is touching hoses or anything like that. This is bolted down there good, bolted here good. It's sturdy. So now basically we got to run our piping, um, and we should be good to go. We actually have. Hang on, grab it. A piece that goes here you can actually control you know kind of how you want your filter to be or whatever but I'm guessing a certain way then we have a rubber piece that goes on the back of this and then the pipe slides into the rubber piece in here so you have a clamp rubber piece clamp well metal piece and clamp so we have to just do that and we should be good to go because air filter goes on this big gigante piece if you're right here which our old air box was so things will look pretty good because this blue it matches and everything. So, and the reason I didn't get anything like, you know, powder coated or anything like the piping, later on I will get everything powder coated, but right now it's like, I don't really like the truck. I'm thinking Destroyer Gray, but I've got the silver, or the, I guess, stainless style, because it will go with anything right now we choose. I can just switch out the uh, air filter really easy with whatever color, but blue kind of goes with everything really, unless you're, trucks red or you know what red white blue there it is america all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start installing the pieces by piece and we should be pretty good we put the filter here we should be able to put like brutus or something here we got everything put in got their sensor back in had to use a little bit longer bolts uh, for some reason ones they had did not work we actually had to utilize this um i didn't think we'd had to but we actually had to so we got that back in, everything's bolted down real good. Um, really can't hear the turbo, but you might actually hear the turbo when we get on it and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and let her fire it up. Fire it up. I got a little squeaky fan belt I gotta get, but everything else, I mean, seems to be pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, take it out the road. So uh, everything is still there. <laughs> it's still intact and everything. It looks pretty good. I mean, it looks a lot better than what you know it did with the stock one and stuff. Like I said, I got a high elbow uh, coming in probably tomorrow or the next day that we'll switch over. I know I, I like to get like maybe a billet uh, aluminum cover for this and everything and just go through and just do a little odds and ends to make it look better on here. Like I said, eventually maybe we'll do like compounds or something. But right now I just want to get everything here done and we'll probably get it tuned and I'm also going to uh we'll get a tuner for it i'm also new headlights and everything fix the bumper and we're gonna get it painted and that's my goal before um cruise cruising starts of course everything's getting like pushed back probably two or three months because you know this this whole virus stuff and everything like that but anyways hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to like button make sure to punch that subscribe button this is ghost and brutus and we'll be back in the next one